Hey, what's going on? I am Jake. Welcome back to Kale Robot. This is, of course, where I cook vegetable heavy food that tastes awesome and makes me feel good. As always, you can find a full list of the recipes down below in the description. Now, did you know that very few things bring me as much happiness as do a plate of hot tamales? The question today though is what spring vegetable can stand up to the steamy, spicy, fatty belly of a tamal? You guessed it. This is a recipe for artichoke tamales. Now, if you are making a short list of the most dangerous vegetables out there, and dangerous here meaning that you can literally use them as a weapon, very high on that list are artichokes. Artichokes are, their leaves are tough, they're sharp, and when you cut them open inside guarding the part that you wanna eat is this prickly, thistly choke. That choke, it looks pretty, like maybe you want to eat it. But as you might suspect with a name like choke, you shouldn't. You definitely shouldn't. So, you're probably asking yourself right about now, why am I eating these things? Well, I have a good answer for you. It's because they taste amazing. They're also rich in protein. They have some crazy complex polyphenols and there's a ton of dietary fibers in them. So super healthy as well as super delicious. Now, artichokes, they can definitely be a little intimidating. Fortunately, this is the easiest, easiest way you can prepare them. All you have to do here is boil them, then you peel them, cut them in half, unchoke them, and all of a sudden they are completely ready and delicious to eat. So why don't you check it out? This is how I prepare artichokes. It is time for a brand new salsa roja recipe. But first, a quick service announcement. If you are enjoying this video, if you wanna see more like these, please think about clicking those like and subscribe buttons down below. I make these every week and you click those, you're not gonna miss a single one. Now, with that out of the way, I'm of the mind that any tamal needs a great salsa to go with it. Artichokes, part of what makes artichokes so special now 
is their ability to acquire other flavors, but still tasting like an artichoke. So with that in mind, I cook them again in hot liquid, this time in a costeño chili salsa roja. The costeño chilies bring out this other dimension of our prickly but tender little friends. I'm going to do a deep dive into this spicy but fruity and almost chocolatey costeño chili salsa roja later in the week. But for now, let's go through a quick overview of how I make it. Okay, let's talk tamales. A tamale is basically a stuffed and steamed masa dumpling, right? Besides residing directly at the center of my happy place, I'd also categorize tamales as both hearty and substantive. So the goal here, though, is to make a springtime tamale. To achieve that, I wanted to make sure that the masa was light and not dense, uh, that the tamal is fresh, right? It's fresh for spring. So for the masa itself, instead of using the traditional pork lard, I substitute in coconut fat. And some baking powder is always going to make your tamal stay light when you're making this masa. Now, as is here, that makes for a beautiful masa that when you combine it with the artichokes and the costeño salsa roja, you're, you could be all set. For me though, I wanted something fresher. I wanted another little component. And to do that, I employed the idea of a jardin. A jardin, which literally translates into garden. A jardin is something from a taco, which means uh, that you're going to finish it with this last sort of flourish of raw onion and chopped cilantro. For this tamal, instead of raw onion, I use wild ramps. And in addition to the chopped cilantro, I chop in some fresh mint as well as some amazing sugar snap peas. Now this is sort of that fresh component I'm talking about. It ties a whole bow on this tamal and, well, let's not talk about it anymore. Why don't you check it out? This is how I make artichoke tamales.
I love it. I love tamales. I'm gonna be honest with you here. The entire reason that I made this recipe was because I hadn't had a tamale in like a couple of months. Springtime is now a perfect reason, a great excuse to make and eat more tamales. You can never have enough reasons, you can never have enough excuses. Well, that's gonna be it for me today. If you haven't yet, please think about clicking the like and subscribe buttons down below. Uh, to see more videos like this, I make them every week. You won't miss one if you click those buttons. Thank you so much for coming. I'm gonna get out of here. Uh, I will see you next time.